This is Rajasthan. This is an arid land where brief monsoon rains were washing the soil away, but now they're harvesting extreme amounts of water throughout an entire region and are thriving their way through the long nine-month dry season. Groundwater levels are high enough to last us through three years of drought. You can see what a town has done over the past 45 years here. Tens of years of monsoons have filled up this water table. We're in Rajasthan, visiting the town of Leparia and Lakshman Singh, the water man. This area used to be ruled by Lakshman Singh's parents. He did this when he was young. He knew how bad it was for his town because they didn't have any water. Dealing with a drought for a year was already very hard for us. The number of trees was very low. Cropping only happened when it rained. It was hard to survive. Take that thing out. As a result of Lakshman Singh's efforts, the area in Laporia are now very rich. Because I wanted to know how this amazing project came together, I went to Laporia to meet Lakshman and his team. Because we are here during the dry season, we have spent the last couple of days touring the town to see the amazing waterworks, planting trees, and lots of crops. Not much rain has fallen. Starting at the end of August, and now it's the beginning of February. Thus, it has been over five months since it rained. My work often uses cases from land that slopes, and people often ask me, what do we do in flatland situations here? Actually, we have. Landform for flatlands. We have large-scale watershed restoration, large-scale groundwater recharge with a series of hydrologically interconnected villages here in this flat terrain. We're actually here at the neighboring village, Gagrada Village, where this is their water collection, and this pond that we're looking at right here. When this overflows, it actually connects through a channel 4 kilometers and goes all the way to the village of Laporia. So these villages here, they have interconnected their water systems. They spill one to the next, so we see a landscape-wide system of water management. With the goal of maximum percolation to build the water table, storage for irrigation, and also storage for wildlife and storage for livestock. The average rainfall for this area is ranging from 350 to 400 of rain. We dug this place up. We work with about 100 people, all residents of this village and the neighboring villages. They made a diversion channel which collects rain runoff from a wide area. The water flows into a series of ponds in the center of the village, which fill up and then overflow from one to the next. In La Paria, they developed a unique system for infiltrating stormwater runoff in the flat terrain, called the Chaka system. In the Chaka system, they excavated a series of pits and used that soil to build up berms to make these compartments. The compartments are flooded by stormwater runoff, and the water is held back by the bund and fills the compartment completely. The water then seeps into the ground to recharge the aquifer. Once the water soaks in, it leaves the soil surface moist in a pattern like we see here. This causes grasses to grow in abundance, and so this area is used for grazing animals. Each compartment overflows one to the next, and finally, the whole Chaka system overflows into a larger water body. Prior to the interventions we did in terms of the Chaka system, this drainage line would only take runoff during the monsoon. You see, water has been retained, resulting from infiltration, percolation effects of the Chaka system. We're seeing water here. How long ago did this waterfall as rain? In response to your question, water that you see today is not the heavy rainfall that got collected at the end of August. This is stagnating water now here, which is a result of the rain. Our efforts of soil water conservation, including the Chaka system that we have done in the last 20 years. You see the two pumping sets? They have been lifting water from this one and irrigating their wheat fields. But the level doesn't seem to be going down despite the pumping that is taking place. Over the years, the infiltration percolation effect that has taken place ensures already enough water has been stored underground, and that will be lifted from the wells to help irrigate the crops. We are very sure that we have ample amount of groundwater to see us through for three consecutive drought years. Prior to that, even managing one year of drought was very difficult for us. This is Dave Saga. Before they dug up this water body, the ground groundwater had gone down to a depth of 60, to 70 odd feet from the ground level. That was the depth to water over the years with recharge infiltration percolation rate improved the recharge in the wealth. The levels have come up, and even if this year one was too good in measure. In some of the open wells, you will notice that the water level is in the range of 5 to 10 feet from the ground level. During the monsoon, these open dug wells are almost at the level where it's about to spill over from its parapet, which means you can just bend a little from your waist. You put your two hands there and lift the water and drink it. That is a situation during the monsoon months. He says that the good water and plenty of water in our open well help farming and make farming more productive. And when farming is done well, we definitely do well. A lot of farming can be seen as you move away from the village in any direction. Right now, there are three main types, the crop of mustard, gram, and wheat. Today, farming is enough to support the families and people who live in this village. There's plenty of it. Groundwater is only used to water some of their fields. The rest only get water from rain, and they've made tree-lined buns to separate the fields. And these buns end up collecting water, which floods the fields during the monsoon rains. 
filling the grounds with water and feeding the plants. There were not as many trees in our area 40 years ago, so you could see some of the nearby towns. You can no longer see the towns next to you. Most of these trees were put in place in the last 40 years. Because of our work, there have been some changes in the area, climate, and weather. It's not as hot as it was 40 years ago because there are more trees around here now, which helps to cool things down. Our town is one of the greenest in this area, and the people who live here worked hard to make it that way. This town covers an area of 1,500 hectares and is home to about 3,000 people. There are lots of new houses around. That really is a sign of how well this village is doing. How could they not be getting richer when they were in a dry place like this? They built facilities for large-scale irrigation and made sure that the water tables stay stable and rise. As we made some progress and made headway, we began working in nearby towns. There are almost 60 towns nearby La Padilla where we are working today. 